we have created the left navigation in our previous video so we are creating the header component in our this session okay so we just go drop this and rename it header com header okay now it's okay let's uh, change the size of it okay so first we have to go we change the height of the our component okay just copy the screen height okay came to the component select the height property of the component okay this page state divided by something the amount okay just we go for eight now okay yeah it look pretty good yeah i think correct so now we go for no, figure number nine okay yeah it's looking too good now great so what we do uh, similarly we go for width also okay we go for width just copy the width property okay came to the component just select the our component width okay just paste it here okay so some paste of our header component okay if we just add com header okay we go first i will make the change of color of it so it will be like uh, this color is okay now we add it to our screen to you show this okay what we are doing so first we go add insert option form header search let's add it okay. now we have to minimize this height we have to subtract this height so what we have to do we have to go to the components part okay just select the component okay left navigation width okay just uh, okay minus subtract this width simply we then sign change no uh, minus sign yeah it's okay now you can see it's okay here also just drag it to zero make it x property of this to the left yeah it's taking correctly now so in our component of what uh, basically header component have okay if you see we have here the name icon just we had the name icon like we have the image okay we add image here okay let's take here some company's image okay so i add one image i am doing image i am it correct just drag it to zero okay let's make it dynamic um parent dot width dot width minus self dot width self dot width okay <clears throat> so now it's okay self dot width let's give some space in right side okay 20 yeah i think 20 is enough okay you can see 20 is enough okay just insert add image yeah, we have one image here in ptl we yeah, go for that no problem for now okay let's think we have project of in ptl we just okay now our company logo is came okay some icons are there okay so we'll just add back icon to our application okay back just add back arrow okay make it with the uh, height to the parent dot height dot height yeah make it x to the zero okay y also to the zero yeah it's okay now i think let's give this functionality something okay what basically uh, back function does it take us back 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 okay yeah now it's correct we added on back icon one image okay in middle we i think we required name okay so we just go add one text input okay we also make it dynamic so x property what is our x dynamic property icon 
Fort Wade. Icon two dot width, sorry, dot width. Yeah, is correct now. We will go for its width, parent dot width. Yeah, it's correct as well. Parent dot width also correct. We just select it and dot with it's okay. Minus icon dot icon two dot width. Minus image two dot width minus something twenty. Yeah, it's correct. Let's enable auto height. Let's make it y also to the zero. Height property two. Let's make height parent dot height. Pairing dot height not uh, height off. Okay, now it's okay. Let's make it table at uh, base is a sender. Okay, just uh, make our component color to the white. We required white color. Okay, just to show to you, change the component color. Okay, let's uh, change this icon color to black. Make this to the font size increase. We make it to 26. Make it to bold. Yeah, it is now okay. Align we align it to center. Let's take for text property. We just create one new property. Okay, just give the name to it. Okay, header. Header. Yeah, uh, input property text. Okay, correct. We want same property. Just on the select the. Label here, okay. Just came to the text property and just mark it here. I think you can give component name com header header dot header property. We have created header property, so we have to give header, okay. It is just simple, okay. Now we have the header also. Let's see how it's look like in our application. In our application, yeah, it looks pretty good. <clears throat> Let's add one background image to it so it will look more pretty. Let's add something. Let's add my image. This is my homework. We just remove this. Add some new green model. How to make on the just add this. Make it center. Stretch. Stretch. So now you can be see it look pretty good. So we change uh, the component color of this left navigation. Pointing to our UI, let's go fill color, make it white. Let's go on screen. Yeah, it's look now pretty good. See. So we have to use this text property. Let's change the name to it. Okay, screen one. Screen one. Let's tap it. Yeah. Okay. We have to copy this. Let's paste it here. Control V by using Control V. Control V. Control V. 
and last screen loss equal to V. Yes, so now we go here, we just change the name of our screen. Screen 5. We go on component header 4. Let's take 4. For component header 3, we go just go to component 3. Okay. Just go into the component 2 and make the screen 2. Let's check how our application is now looking. Yeah, we are on home screen. Okay, this is our second screen. This is third. This is fourth. Yeah, we are not able to see this is our first screen on which screen we are. Okay, so what we have to do, we just go into the left navigation. Okay, left navigation okay. on button. Let's go on button on buttons. Just go on fill color. App if app dot active screen equal to the screen name this item dot screen. Just comma make uh, the color to the R G G A one two three last one is zero point just close it and let's see it. Let's see. Yeah, okay, just we have to shift this color. Shift color to the yeah, it's I think it's okay. Yes, we go to the screen and just check it how it's look like. Yeah, this is we are in fifth screen. Okay. Okay, our gallery is scrolling. So we not have to scroll the gallery. So what we have to do, we just go to our component. We go on the template width, template height, template height gallery, template height property. We have six. We just increase the number. Ah, it's okay now. Let's go and see how it looks like now. It is look pretty good now. Yeah, you can see this is our screen. We also add one label here, eh? correct? So, who which lay user is on which screen we can be named. So, what we have to do, we just this is our image. Okay, we added it dynamically. So, what we will do. We just parent dot width height dot height minus width. We just first add the text layer. Just give it name to the user dot full name. Yeah, it's okay. So what we have to do? We make it to bold first. What is that? Yeah, make it font size to eleven, so it can be eleven. Yeah, it's correct. Okay. So this y is adjusted to this. So first. Okay, just to go on the Y property of gallery. I will do it and just a second.
okay uh, now we done the manually okay no problem this is our user image this is our label we make the label full size okay so it will align at the center correct left padding zero right padding should be zero it will be aligned at center correctly so now it looks pretty good i think yeah we go yeah look look like okay it looks too pretty now screen 3 screen 4 screen 5 if we have to came to the back screen we can came to the back screen as well okay that's it all about our tutorial now okay thank you friends okay you can create live navigation header components now okay thanks you Thank you.